Hi everyone, this is Megan Lewandowski with Hi Monkey Consulting with another posting of Monkey Bites. This is the third installment on SharePoint 2010's calendar overlay. Hopefully you've watched Virgil's past two postings and are ready to implement this within your site. What I'm going to talk about today is creating a CSS style sheet and attaching it to your master page. So what we're going to do is open up SharePoint Designer and it's always good form to have any custom styles within a sheet instead of within the page itself. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select all these styles and we're going to take them out and then you click File, More Pages, CSS, and then click Create. Now we're going to name this style sheet calendar overlay. If you already have a custom style sheet, you can just go ahead and paste these new styles for the calendar piece into your style sheet. But for this demo, we're going to create a new one. You'll notice that SharePoint defaults all CSS style sheets into the site pages folder. For our purposes, we're actually going to move it into the site assets folder. I'm going to show you that in a second. So we'll click OK. and we're going to paste our code in there and go ahead and save. Now if you click on all files, site pages. Now the reason we don't like CSS in a site pages folder is say you end up having a lot of pages on your site it just removes a lot of the clutter and keeps all the style based things in a separate area. So I'm going to take it out of here and instead I'm going to click on the Site Assets folder and I'm going to paste it in there. Now what you're going to do is go to your Master Page Library. Now with SharePoint 2010, the Master Page you're going to want to edit is v4.master. SharePoint 2007 used default.master, but they've created this v4.master in SharePoint 2010, so that's your base one. I'm going to go ahead and click Edit File. Now what we want to do here is go up to Style, Attach Style Sheet. You're going to browse, and I'm going to find my calendar overlay.css and click OK. And I'm going to scroll up just to show you the link that was created. You'll see here in the code, there's a link to your style sheet. Go ahead and save. And then what we're also going to do to make sure these styles have applied is we're going to save the custom.aspx page. We took those styles out just want to make sure it's still working so I'm going to check this page in and if we go back to our browser and I'll hit refresh and actually navigate back to October to see more events and everything looks perfect so that concludes this posting of monkey bites on CSS styling and the calendar overlay now all this code will be in Banana Blog as well, especially all the styles to create some of these custom colors for the different overlays. Thank you very much, and we'll talk soon on the next version of High Monkey's Monkey Bites.